Sports are considered a male pastime, even when women like Serena Williams, Mary Combe, and Simone Biles have been here for ages trying to change the narrative. But all good things must come to an end, and such is the case with Serena's time in tennis. Her retirement ends a golden era of legendary great female athletes who refuse to stick to sports. Let's find out more about these wonder women, starting off with Serena and her undeniable legacy. The woman has been around for nearly three decades now, and in all her years on the court, all we've seen time and time again is her resilience, her grit, and her grace. Throughout the years, we've had the privilege of watching her rack up one win after another and waving one cup after the next. But with all that said, it looks like the queen has finally decided to step down. She started by hinting at the idea of retiring, referring to it as the light at the end of the tunnel. And then finally, when all of us were hoping for a miracle to get her to stay, she revealed the news. Serena spoke to the masses in a first-person essay for the infamous Vogue magazine as she elaborated that she will indeed be retiring, or as she would like to call it, evolving away from the game. If this was a hard pill for us to swallow, let's take a second to consider what the 23 times Grand Slam winner herself might be going through. For her decision to transcend from tennis, a major driving force was her daughter Olympia and the desire to work on her family. In her essay, she talked about how, had she been a guy, retirement at this stage in life might not have been a priority. She further strengthened her argument by explaining how another man in her position wouldn't have to do a trade-off between their family and tennis because their wives would be taking care of the labor that comes with caring for a family. But in the end, despite how hard it must be, she has finally decided to move on and evolve into the next phases that her life holds on for her. But as she moves willingly from the sport, we must admit that she'll be joining many other legendary female athletes who refused to stick to sports. And instead, these Wonder Women went on to spread their wings elsewhere. Let's go through some other female athletes like her who chose to make an impact outside of their chosen sport. So there's Alison Felix. Like Serena, Felix has also been pretty vocal about equality in sports. Even today, the athlete has been standing up for women who are often subjected to hearing biased statements. One that she especially despises is women being hit with the idea that once they start having babies, their best athletic days are behind them. But just recently, Allison too has announced her decision to move on from the sport. U.S. track and field's all-time leader in individual awards made the announcement on Instagram that she will be retiring at the end of the 2022 season. The 36-year-old has been an Olympian since Athens in 2004, and she has won a total of 11 medals in that time. She said, I have so much gratitude for this sport that has changed my life. Life. I have given everything I have to run, and for the first time, I'm not sure if I have anything left to give. And with that said, the star is now deciding to move beyond the realm of sports. Besides her athletic achievements, Felix is well known for her advocacy work in the field of maternal health for black women when she spoke out about her experience of needing an emergency C-section to give birth to her baby. She's also a vocal supporter of athletes who are also parents. She established a fund in 2021 to help female Olympians afford childcare while they were away from home competing. In addition, she she has spoken out against her previous sponsor, Nike, for not paying her throughout her maternity leave. Felix added how so many women before her have been silenced for speaking out about their struggles. She feels privileged to be among them. She said that her daughter was the driving force for her decision, and she too has decided to move on. Not to forget Sue Bird. Each sport has its own set of athletes that they just can't imagine parting ways with. For tennis, it may be Federer, Rafa, Serena, etc. But for the WNBA, there's one woman who has the hearts of both opponents and fans alike. Sue Bird is finally reached the end of her career, and similar to fans shedding tears over Serena's move, many WNBA viewers just couldn't digest it when Bird announced her retirement. Playing what was supposed to be her last game, she was just about to make her exit when the entire court filled up with chance of one more year. Of course, the moment provoked a very emotional reaction here. It's at that moment exactly that the 12-time champion decided she'd be coming for the 2022 season, but then that would be it. And while the decision is obviously a very difficult one, like Williams, she too has made her peace with it. The final challenge is to end her career on a high note by winning a championship in her final season. But even if that doesn't work out, Bird is pleased with how far she's come in the 25 years since she's first set foot on the store's campus. She said that it'd definitely be a fairy tale to win her last season and go out on a high, but the reality is one season, one game, one moment doesn't change her career. She also added that she has zero regrets and that she feels amazing about her career, her accomplishments, and the people she's met. With that said, it's clear that along with Serena, there are some other passionate super athletes retiring as they evolve into new phases of their lives, leaving behind amazing legacies. And in other news, Hubert Hurkacz moves to Montreal Finals. The eighth seed of Saturday's National Bank Open Final fought back from losing the opening set to beat the top seed Kasper Ruud in three sets. After overcoming Ruud in the third, the world number 10 advanced to his second ATP 1000 final. A thrilling opening set went to Ruud, but Hubert was able to lift his level and win the match. After the game, he said that he was simply trying to remain in the game. He also added that for the greater part of two sets, Kasper 
never played outstanding tennis. When asked whether the long days and late nights had taken their toll, Hurkacz denied it and said that physically speaking, he feels pretty good. And why won't he? From what we've heard, the man has been putting in tremendous work these past couple of weeks. Now the 25-year-old will play Pablo Carreno Busta of Spain in Sunday's championship match in Montreal. Also, Emma Raducanu and Serena Williams face off. And in an interesting turn of events, Serena Williams, the legend nearing the edge of her career, has drawn against the last US Open champion, Emma Raducanu, as her next opponent. After both players were eliminated from the Toronto Open early in the week, Williams and Raducanu are set to play on Monday night. It's definitely going to be an interesting match as we watch a player who's been world number one for 319 weeks go against the defending champion. And if that wasn't intimidating enough for the young Brit, this will also be the first time ever in her career that she'll be going against Serena. While we do want the 19-year-old to use the championship as a way to get more wins under her belt, we can't help but hope that Williams will get the chance to go out in glory. Anyway, win or no win, we don't think it will have any effect on the legacy left behind by the 23 times Grand Slam winner. Finally, John McEnroe thinks Djokovic not being allowed to play US Open is BS. Djokovic has managed to cause quite a lot of chaos in the tennis world, as various people come forward with their two cents on his refusal to get the vaccine. A majority are understandably pissed at him for putting the lives of so many people in danger, but there are also experts who think he should be given a chance to play. McEnroe called the decision BS and said that if he were in charge, he'd let him play. He also added that while he himself is vaccinated, he still thinks that something so petty shouldn't be used against Novak when he's on the journey to the top. The CDC has yet to update its travel guidelines, which presently indicate that non-US citizens and nations must be properly vaccinated in order to enter the country. The verdict is still being reviewed though, so this may change. On the other hand, the United States Tennis Association has declared it would comply with the government's laws on vaccination, meaning no players will be allowed an exemption to enter the country and participate at the US Open. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about all these experts evolving away from tennis? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!